Hey guys, Aton. So today we are making samosas, Punjabi samosas. I honestly don't know how I've not made this on my YouTube channel yet. It is a favorite of my house. So let's just get started. Um, I'm actually short on time, so we're gonna make this quickly. All right, right over here I have some all-purpose flour and to that I'm gonna add in some ajwain seeds. Um, these are just something you could find at your local Indian grocer. If you can't find it, you could just leave it out, but it does just add a nice little speckle of flavor in the dough. All right, and now I'm going to grab our butter and I'm going to add about half of it to start into there and just mix that in. You can use ghee if you have, that's actually preferred. I have only butter on hand, so that is what I'm going to use. So I just started mixing that in. Now I'm going to add in our water. And now the thing with samosa dough, it's different from roti dough. If you ever made roti before or chapati, that is a more soft dough. This is more of a firm dough. So it'll look like it's not coming together, but it will come together. So just be patient and the dough will come together. All right, I'm gonna add in the remainder of our butter and then just keep on mixing. Okay, so our dough has now come together into a nice ball. It's not that soft, but when you really work it, it will come together. You want to kind of be firm um, so that we can then fry it. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm now just going to cover this with this, which will also kind of cover the mess. And I was gonna wash my hands, but you know what? It's not that bad, so it's okay. We'll make a little mess. My mom might not like that I did that, but that's okay. Sorry, mom. All right, so now that I cleaned off my hands, let's get started on the potato masala mixture. Okay, so I've already boiled my potatoes, which is an easy way to just make this go super quick. And now to my pot right over here, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of vegetable oil. All right, so now our oil is getting nice and hot, and to this we're gonna add in some mustard seeds. I don't know if it's blanking out on that, mustard seeds, whole mustard seeds, and we're just going to let them pop. They're gonna pop a lot, so you wanna be careful, kind of back up a little bit um, while they are going so they don't pop all over your face. Just kind of toast them for a second. This will really bring out the oils inside of it and all the flavor. Whoa, all right, that is how you know that it is popping. All right, now that it's starting to pop, I'm gonna add in some of our red onion, and I'm just gonna cook this for about three to four minutes until it becomes translucent, and then we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, so now while that is going over here, I'm going to just prep two more of our ingredients. I have a nice chunk of ginger over here that I'm just going to quickly grate up. Next up, I'm going to grate some garlic as well. I'm gonna add that in. I'm also gonna thinly slice uh, green chili and add that straight into there as well. Again, if you don't like spicy food, you can just leave this out, but like, you guys know I like spicy food, so that is for sure going in. And just mix that up. Along with that, we're gonna add in a bunch of spices. Right over here I have some turmeric that I'm just gonna slowly pour in. There we go. Have a little bit of chili powder. Some cumin. And a little bit of salt. And a little crack. Uh, pepper. Let's just mix this around and toast the spices for about 30 seconds to a minute. Wow, it already smells incredible. This is why you don't just want to add your spice at the end. You really want to let them toast for a few seconds. It's going to just bring out all those amazing aromas and flavors. Wow, it smells incredible. All right, now to this, I'm going to add in. These are some potatoes I cut into about half inch, one inch cubes. Boil them until they were nice and soft. And let's just add those into there. Also along with that, I'm gonna add in just a touch of water. Now we're gonna use a potato masher, and I like to keep my samosas a little chunky, a little mashed. So I just like to mash them slightly. Okay, perfect. It's a little chunky, a little mash. And next up, I'm gonna add in some frozen peas. And now some people don't like to use peas in their samosas. That's totally fine. Whatever you like to do, you can. By the way, I realize I actually don't have it on the hand right now, but you know what's amazing in samosas? Cashews. You can add cashews in when I toasted um, the, what's it called, the mustard seeds. And it is so good in there as well. If I had it, I'd add it in. Highly suggested if you have it on hand. All right, my eyes are starting to tear up from all the spices and the aromas, but I'm gonna let this sit here for about two, three minutes um, on a very low flame. I'm gonna lower it. Um, just kinda let the flavors marry together. Meanwhile, I'm gonna clear this all out. I'm gonna get some oil boiling, then we're gonna form the samosas, fry them, and then eat them with some tamarind chutney. All right. 
All right, it's been a little while, and now let's start by, well, not start, we already started. Let's finish this uh, with making the samosa. So here's our dough. It is kind of a firm dough. Let's just grab a nice piece of it right over here. That looks kind of good. And now we are going to roll it. So let me teach you guys the technique for making samosas. So each round of dough that we're making is actually going to make two samosas. Let's get a little flour. Okay, so now I've kind of rolled it into this kind of like ovalish shape. And what we're now going to do is we're going to place it on our work surface. We're going to cut it actually in half. Okay, that was not an even cut at all, whatever, that's okay. <laughs> and this is actually gonna make two samosas. So this is what we're gonna kind of do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in one of the sides and I'll right over here have a little bit of water. I'm gonna put some water over here just to help it stick. Then I'm gonna fold the other side into kind of a cone shape because that's kind of the signature shape for samosa. And then let's get a little more water to close this top. And as you see what we're kind of doing is we are making a little cavity in there to stick our filling. So you really wanna make sure you do a good job squeezing together these seams because you do not want the samosa to start emptying out all of its contents while you're frying. That will just be an absolute mess. Now I'm just going to spoon in some of the potato masala that we made earlier, right into there, press that all down. And then finally, you're gonna put this down your surface, get that all sealed in there. All right. Now you want it to kind of look like this. So this is where part you kind of just make it all happen. All right, hit it down. Let's now cut off the excess, use a fork to then seal. And there you go, that is how you form a samosa. So you just wanna pinch it on top, and this is what it kinda of looks like. It's like a little triangle, nice little package dumpling. I'm just gonna repeat these steps with a bunch more samosas. I'm gonna make about four samosas, and then we're going to fry them and eat them. All right, it is now the time to fry up our samosas. So I have my oil over here preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna fry them each for about two, three, four minutes until they're nice and golden brown on the outside. And then we're gonna eat. All right, our samosas look like they are now done. So let me bring over, I have a baking sheet just lined with a little bit of paper towels to catch some of that oil. Oh, these look incredible, oh my God. Make sure we get all that excess oil off. Oh my God, these look amazing. All right, so our samosas have cooled down a bit. I'm gonna pick this one over here. It looks really nice, nice and crunch on the outside. And right over here, I'm dipping it into some tamarind chutney. Now, in the recipe I'm giving, there actually is a recipe also for some, some uh, mint chutney, which is really delicious with this. But right now, I'm just going with some tamarind chutney, because that's what I have on hand. And let's just dig in. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Wow, that is seriously amazing. Let's just start from the inside. You have that soft potato mixture that has this freshness from the peas. Some parts of the potato are super soft, some parts are a little chunkier. Then you have the powerful flavor from all the spices that we added, from the ginger, from the garlic, from the sauteed onions. It is just packed with flavor. Then it is wrapped in the delicious samosa dough, dipped in a chutney like this, which is super like tangy and delicious. It is just an absolutely delicious dish. All right, I'm gonna go in for one more bite and then we'll do the outro. Mm. Incredible. All right, that is how you make samosas. As always, the link to the full written recipe is in the description box below. 
If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And comment down below, what is your personal favorite type of fried dumpling? Do you like samosas? Have you ever had samosas before? Have you not? I want to hear that all down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button. It's right there. I know you see it. I see it. So go click it if you haven't already to be the first to know when I post new videos. All right, this is super fun. I'm going to go devour the rest of these samosas because they are jam-packed with flavor. Like, guys, stop what you're doing. Make some samosas.